Hey house guests, welcome to today's Celebrity Big Brother updates and spoilers. Here are our house guests of the day. Thank you guys so much for the support. We really, really appreciate it. We love you. All right, so wowsies at the double eviction last night. How much fun was that? Oh my God, so fitting that we said goodbye to Brandy and James in the same night, right? It's like a real Romeo and Juliet story. All right, so we find out too how the finale is going to be working because it's pretty crazy to go into the finale with five people, right? So anyway, there's going to be one more regular eviction to get us down to four. So that means there's going to be HOH, nominations, power veto, and then a vote. And then after that, there's going to be one final HOH competition. And the winner of that will choose who's going to join them in the final two. And then the other two house guests are evicted. What? That's crazy. Is this at least going to be like a multi-part competition or what? I feel like it's not, but I don't know. I would feel a lot better about it if it was like at least two parts, if not three, but I feel like it's going to be one. And that's a lot of power for one person. Ugh. I would not like that for a regular season, but because this one was so short and it's like, whatever, why not? Okay, so the feeds were down until 12.30 a.m. Big Brother time after the show was over, and we find out when they come back that Ross won the HOH. So, <laughs> it was some sort of endurance competition they were hanging on to or off of something, and it looks like they also um, filmed like the memory lane stuff for tonight's episode because they had like a really beautiful spread of food and champagne. Do we really need a memory lane segment or episode even, like a whole episode when Everything on there happened max three weeks ago. <laughs> that seems crazy, but okay, I guess they got some time to fill, whatever. Just gotta compete with the figure skating gala tonight. <sighs> okay, so Ross has already figured out his plan. He was talking to Marissa in the landmark room, and before we get into the plan, is Marissa like trying to help Ross win? I've wondered that this whole time because it always seems like she's just trying to protect him and get him to the end, like. I don't know, it's weird. But she's like, yeah, I'll take you to the end. Mark will take you to the end. You're gonna get there, man. You're gonna get there. All right, um, and she also says that one of them is gonna win the final HOH and it's gonna be beautiful. But first, Ross is planning on nominating Omarosa and Ari for this eviction. What? I'm surprised and not surprised that he's gonna put Ari up there instead of Mark. Um, at this point in the game, Ross is smart. He knows that he's going to have a way better chance of beating Mark in the final two than Ari. Everyone loves Ari. She didn't really piss anybody off. She had a strong game at the same time. So he's like, crap, I got to I gotta potentially get rid of her here. But Omarosa is actually the target this week. I mean, she did try to <laughs> split up Ross and Marissa. <laughs> multiple times. Um, it sounds like also Ross made a deal with Mark during the HOH competition and it was all like, if you drop, I won't nominate you, but you also have to play hard for the veto and vote out Omarosa. Okay. So like I said, Omarosa is the target, but if she wins the veto, Marissa will be going up in her place and Ross is telling Marissa, you're going to be safe. So Ari will be the one leaving. That sucks. So he's telling Marissa, you'll be safe no matter what, because even if you're up there next to Ari and Omarosa votes for you to go, Mark has promised to vote for you to stay, so it'll be a tie, and then he's going to break the tie to keep her. So Marissa's like, it's all good. Mark, like, is going to keep his word, and it's, it's going to be fine. So they just agree. Omarosa cannot win this veto. So then Ari joins them, and Ari and Marissa are both telling Ross, like, we're so proud of you. You did such a good job. And he really has. Like, he's won competitions when he needed to, and he's played a really crafty game. I mean, this is a great example of somebody who was able to play both sides without getting caught, right? I mean, like, I feel like it was pretty obvious. Obviously, we're watching the show, and we have the bigger picture here. But to everybody inside of the house, I feel like it should have been obvious that he was playing both sides. But he was just doing it so well that he got away with it. So Ross is telling Ari, we're going to send her, meaning Omarosa, home, and we just have to make sure that she doesn't win the veto. It's going to be four versus one in that power veto competition. So Ari's like, wait, 
are you putting me up and not Mark next to Omarosa? And Ross is like, I can't put him up. We made a deal. It's like when Omarosa made that deal with James and she wasn't going to nominate him. So he's telling Ari, don't worry. You're going to be safe as long as Omarosa does not win the veto. But if she does, goodbye. <laughs> That's basically what he's saying. Um, so he's like, we're all going to protect you until we're not. Okay, so then Ari's like a little bit nervous. She's wondering if Mark is working with Omarosa because if he wins the veto, he could just use it on Omarosa and then she's going to go. But Ross and Marissa are both like, no. And they know that because Mark has a final, well, it was a final four with James, but now I guess it's a final three with Ross and Marissa. So they know that he is with them not Omarosa. So then Mark is like, yeah, he's never lied to me, and he said that they don't have a deal, so I believe it. All right, so then the house guests spend some time talking through their various strategies and deals throughout the season, just rehashing things that have happened. And again, I love uh, when this comes up at the end of every season, but it's just weird since the season was so short, right? Okay, so anyway, later, Mark and Ross were talking about the final two in the landmark bedroom, and they both said they knew that they could trust each other from day one, even though they weren't working together in the beginning. They just knew that there was something there, and they could do something at some point. So Mark is like, well, if I make it to final two, I don't have a huge resume to tell the jury about. However, he says, oh, I can say I didn't send anybody home. Um, Brandy? <laughs> you definitely sent Brandy home, but okay. And then Ross is like, well... If one of us goes to the end with a girl, the girl is going to win. <sighs> okay, so like, that has only happened one time out of how many U.S. seasons? One time. So I know they're like, yeah, the girls were wanting girl power this season especially, but still, I don't know that that's necessarily true that a girl would automatically beat the guys. Because it just, it never happens on this show. But they are like... They're all about it. So Mark is saying, yeah, your only chance is against me or Omarosa in the final two. Is Omarosa not a girl? <laughs> Why is she not included in this? <laughs> um, honestly, I think that Omarosa has played a really great game. And I think we've seen a side of her that we haven't before. Now, I don't know if this is real Omarosa or if this is reality TV Omarosa 2.0. Who knows, but... I feel like she should have a fair chance if she makes it to the final two because that's like bullcrap if she loses just because of her reputation coming into this because like, ugh, that's, I don't like that. But anyway, um, they pretty much agree to take each other to the end because they want the boys to stick together. All right, so then Ari and Ross had a late night chat in the red carpet bedroom and Ross is telling her, I really want you to stay. If you make it to the final two, who are you taking? <laughs> so Ari says that she would take Ross because you are my husband. They've had this thing all season where they pretend to be a married couple and it's pretty funny. But anyway, Ross is like, I would lose to you in the end, but I would love to be second place to you. I don't know that that's true. Again, Ari is very popular with everybody, but Ross has a lot of gaming to show for himself. So I don't know, that one, it would be tough to decide between the two of them. So Ari's like, no, I think you could win. I would take you with me. So then Ross just reemphasizes that everybody is working to get rid of Omarosa this week, or this day, and <laughs> they're going to try to protect her. So this morning, Omarosa got her HOH basket from the double eviction. She got a nice letter from her mom, but I mean, they gave her like this full-ass basket. Everybody's leaving tomorrow. There's no way that she could eat all that stuff. I guess she's going to need another suitcase to bring everything home. So then Omarosa was talking to Ari about the final two, trying to give her some advice. By the way, Omarosa knows that she is done if she doesn't win this power of veto. So she's like, Ari, you need to win this. You need to, to get to the end. You can win this. So she's saying, do not take Ross to the final two. Take Mark. So Ari's like, oh, Ross asked me yesterday what I was going to do, and I promised to take him. <laughs> so then Omaros is like, well, if you take him, you lose. Uh, he's won two HOHs and two vetoes, and Mark has only won one HOH. Isn't that funny that 
one of Mark and Ross's HOHs were both just like given to them by James. But still, I mean, they have those numbers to show for themselves. So uh, Omarosa is like, yeah, Ross just asked you to take him because he knows that he can beat you with the jury. So she's telling Ari, you have to be strong, you have to be smart, you don't have to be first runner up again. <laughs> Steve Harvey! It was so dramatic. <laughs> okay. So then it was time for nominations, and as planned, Ross put up Ari and Omarosa. He also got his HOH room at some point. I don't think it was shown on feeds. If it was, I definitely missed it, but it, I think it was just when the feeds were down, and he got, again, a big HOH basket and a letter from one of his friends. And uh, other than that, the house guests have been taking it easy today, resting up for the Power Veto competition because it's super important. And then at 2.15 p.m., Ross calls everyone to the living room, not to, <laughs> to give the instructions for the uh, hair extensions, but for the Power Veto competition. And it's going to be individually timed, so it's probably going to take a while. And we did get to see them draw for their spots. So that was fun. We got to hear the comp dude, uh, Heath, on the... Intercom. Um, so the order for the competition is going to be Ross, Ari, Omarosa, Marissa, and then Mark. So then the feeds went down for the competition. No idea what it's going to be, but it's pretty exciting. So let me know in the comments who you guys are rooting for, not just for this power veto, but to win this whole thing because tomorrow is finale night. Yay! All right. So let me know what you guys think, and until tomorrow. Much love.